Hello, Dunn here. Welcome back to Iwahime. Nothing. I'm not going to say anything else. Let's just continue the game. The big day was finally coming up tomorrow, the day of the Iwamoto Happy Fun Carnival, the day of the LCSE's rummage sale. So today was the night of the sleepover, the day of the cooking competition for Susumu's heart. The members gathered at school in the afternoon. We moved the rummage sale goods at to a truck belonging to the Shopping District Association. Several of the stronger members of the association came to help, so the job went quicker than expected. We finished preparing for tomorrow, leaving us totally free for the rest of the evening. じゃあ、お夕食は期待してるわね。先生はちょっと野球部の休館対応に行ってくるわ。そろそろお夕飯の支度だね。お互い恨みっこなしだよ。はい、すすはら先輩、熱田先輩、ご敬中願います。女子は
One of hers. Oh god, my weighted credentials were at an all time low. Okay. おばしちゃいますよ。うが、あ、うが。おやおや、豚肉かぶりだね。おいらはお魚なのだ。み、みのべ先輩すごい。お魚を下ろせるんですか。あ、下ろせるわけないし。そんなスーパーの鮮魚
て美味しくて男子大好きこれが身延べ県の料理の神髄さやりますね男子はどんぶりご飯が大好きそれを読んでくるとはお刺身の不揃いな感じが実にあざとくて憎いわねなるほど手作り感を出すためにわざと柵をですかこれは男子はイチコロかもですねリリアちゃんのもすごいねいい匂い私は甘く味付けしたカツトジですそしてそれを熱々ご飯の上にどっさり乗せるとはいカツ丼の出来上がりですお肉大好き丼ご飯大好きそんなお腹を空かせた男子高校生が大喜びするメニューですやるねーリリアンもどんぶり作戦できたかまあ勝とうと策を練れば当然の結果ですけれどねうううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううう Anyway, I knew I couldn't win. And even if I lost, I'd already confessed to Susan. But what, what did that mean to him? What did that night mean to him anyway? The truth was, not much had changed between us since the day I confessed. It was kind of embarrassing, so we kept on acting the same as usual. Oh, well, as always. I was pretty sure Susan had accepted my confession, though. So even if I lost, we were already a couple, right? Then nobody was clever while we were in that area. Was relentless. If one of them got him alone on the roof, they might very well make something happen. And, oh god, I'll live an honest life from now on, so please, please grant me a miracle. We brought our dishes to the girls' room in the dormitory. The dorm was generally used by sports clubs to stay the night before tournament, but tonight we'd be using it for the dinner and sleepover. And the boys have finally arrived. The moment of truth was upon us. Oh, my God! Great one, I'm going to get to the top of the top. We all greeted them with bated breath. So, hi, then, does it? Or it was a sort of great one, and he left. She and I mean, Nanny, or do I tell you, I don't know. ご飯炊くだけで大げさだね炊飯器で美味しくご飯を炊くのもちょっとしたコツとかありますしお味噌汁も男子の担当だったかしらそっちも楽しみねスズムがお味噌汁を作ったの僕と夏くんの合作だよお互い頑張ったんだそれにしてもスズハラさすがはグレートな男正直なところ料理の腕で俺にかなう男がいるとは思わなかったぜただの白いご飯とお味噌汁で随分と熱血だねあ誰がただのご飯だってただご飯とお味噌汁を作るだけじゃつまらないと思って、oh, no. Did he... This might be the, the miracle for her <laughs> Kokami is getting more and more adorable with this at the video. Oreto Susara no great brother's presents! Kratik Tabare, great o dinna showtime! Snick and a coasting deal on your ewa. Jang! ルダクさんそして刺激的名付けてメンズドリーム誘惑のカレーピラフだカレーライス合わせてインド風の野菜スープも作ってみたんだほらこっちもグダクさんなんだよ<笑>ここれは驚いたわスハラ君は何だか料理ができそうなオーラがあったけど
ああつたお兄ちゃんって料理できたんだねそそういえば自宅お惣菜屋だったっけあつあつお惣菜のあつた惣菜店の跡取り息子あつた夏也ここに現在俺はただ総菜店を継ぐだけのつもりはないぜあげる焼く蒸すのすべてを極めるのさナチアケンカクすごいよね将来の夢は創作料理のレストランなんだっていやいやスサラもグレートだったぜ料理のいろはを知り楽しもうというその心グレートだったぜお料理とか好きなんだ夏くんの手伝いができてよかったよわ私たちの勝負は何だったんだろうね、oh, kind of now. おいらお腹ペコペコでバカらしくなってきたよあつたお兄ちゃんってすごいねあリリー転んじゃった Oh, don't you? Yuria elbowed Ats Atsuda in the solar plexus with all her might. No one I could hear her inner cry of, How dare you go the extra mile raging from her soul? Both Yuria and Minovi's、uh, dishes had re revolved around white rice. But now. <sighs> They, they can't screw. ごめんね。僕たちが普通に白いご飯を炊いてくるのを期待してたんだね。うん、いいのいいの。だってハンバーグの私はラッキーだったし。ハンバーグのピラフは相性最強だよな。だがケチャップはもっとかけてた方が豪快だぜ。ああああ、せっかくハートかいたのに。Hmm, he didn't even see my world class art heart. Kawaii, ne? Go you know, the Magokoro got Komot de Rutte Kanjigas. She has some interesting taste. The end, everyone's stomachs bursting with food. In the end, the competition was called off. And here I thought I'd won thanks to my h a m b u r g e r steak. My r e c i d e since I was already the winner, I just accepted. Of course, by winner, I wasn't referring to the cooking competition. Right, they said removing obstacles in your path was important in times like these. I needed worries, I needed words, not actions. I had to announce to everyone. Suzumu would be alright with it, wouldn't he? He said to my confession, right? After we finished cleaning up, we gathered back in the dorm rooms. Of course, this was a publicly sanctioned school, so the guys wouldn't be staying in the same room as us. There were two separate rooms where the boys and girls sleep in. Of 
course, we all wanted to have fun together until it lights up. So everyone gathered in the girls' room, ate a toast with the drinks Miss Hina Gunder brought us, and proceeded to engage in all sorts of fun. Even Kurokami was actively participating in the conversation, like she was tuned to the right channel for once. We talked about many different things. The most exciting topic was various inside stories of the entertainment business. It was a rare occasion, to say the least, so we took the opportunity to ask Kurokami some things. Is that old doll you're always carrying around so important to you? Yes, very. Stuff like that. However, it didn't seem like she would be staying over. If and that she lived in a shrine, her family was probably very strict. I said she was planning only to hang out for a while, then go home. And then the clock hit nine. Miss Hinagana left, saying she had to go to the staff room. Kurokami also looked at the clock as she stood up and stood telling us she had to leave too. With Miss Hinagana out of the way, I figured it was a perfect chance. I wanted to make an announcement while Kurokami was still there with the whole LCSC pre uh, pre I went to Susan. He didn't get it, of course, so I interrupted his card game with Atsuda to call him over. Tell him. Took everything I had not to slug him in the face and shout, But we're going out, dumbass. Just then, Susan smiled. Get. I was almost worried. For I was almost worried for a second it was going to be another fake Suzumu kind of thing. That it was a fake Suzumu that woke her up uh, from the last video. Well, that's not it. Well, that's not it. Oh, you be a f oh, <laughs> I got some news for you. Oh, there was all right. Every girl in the room, in fact, my name is Kurokami. Because you know how that ended up. No, it's me and Susan who's done. Susumu and I stood side by side, and the others fell silent. Crap, the silence made it harder on me. I'll forget this all or nothing. The whole room grew quiet. I could feel myself sweating. Everyone's eyes were wide. But it kills someone to clap or congratulate us? The silence was killing me. あんたたち、いつからそういうことになってたの？えっと、先週私から告って。それって料理勝負しようって決めた。先週の日曜日のことですか。Yeah. Oh. I kind of kind of agree it is kind of unfair that that you did that kind of so soon after. そうですよね。アルミヤ先輩、フェアじゃないです。Wait, what? Anova and Ryuga were going daggers at me. There wasn't the faintest hint of a smile on their faces, they were dead serious. I winced. This was not what I expected. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
あの日私たち素直に言ったもん。だって、みのべ先輩は茶化したような言い方だったし。リリアちゃんだって、恋愛じゃなくて、親愛だって言ってたじゃん。あ,あ、そうですか。そういう態度ですか。すっとぼけたふりして、なかなかやってくれますね。おいらも見誤ったよそういう子だとは思わなかったや,やめようよどうしたのみんなマジになりすぎだぜ青春の1ページじゃねえかよ<笑> MS were so Even the normally inattentive Kurokami was staring me down. Well, it was probably for different reasons. いや確かにフェアじゃないって言い方はあるかもでもさ別に告っちゃいけないなんてルール決めなかったでしょなら恋愛なんて早いもの勝ちじゃんそれを何かさもルールがありましたみたいにぐちぐち言われるのも腹立つんだけどキコちゃんあんたたちだってスズムのことが好きだったらさっさと告白すればよかったじゃないそれをしないで勝手なルール作って押し付けてそんでフェアじゃないって、uh -oh. こっちからすると何を勝手に熱吹いてんのって感じ uh -oh. キコちゃん Suzumi's voice was serious. I held my tongue, but there was nothing to be upset about because I'd already had already won. Those two were just idiots for thinking this was some romance manga war. Getting a head start was banned by some bullshit status quo. So, that's it. Chikochi no you told me that. Easy. So, you tied on that. こっちも考えを改めますから何よスズムンはキコチンに告白されたからそれをオーケーしただけの話でだからって別にさらに誰かがスズムンに告白しちゃいけないルールはないわけだよね早い者勝ちのノールールですものねハルミヤ先輩の話だとそうなりますああ Two were threatened to so seize me away from me with nothing to indicate they were joking. For the aside, this was the first time I'd ever seen the other, uh, the, the otherwise carefree m i n o l e look so serious. Seize me shouted harshly. It rendered us all speechless and brought us back to our senses. But it didn't take long for us to start eyeing each other like predators again. せっかくの楽しかった時間を失ってまでする話じゃないよそうだねスズムンの前でする話じゃないですね私たちだけの話なんですからせいぜい今は優位に立ったとおごっててくださいねハルミヤ先輩いいよ、買ってやろうじゃん、その喧嘩。Oh, you can hear her voice. 下の小路にチャラチャラ口を出し腐りやすい。Oh, yeah, she went to that kind of. 上だよ、これ。やめなよ、キコちゃん。僕は罵り合うみんななんて見たくないよ。僕が理由で、さっきまでの楽しかった時間が壊れてしまうなら、僕は帰るよ。シャチホコブもやめる。みんなももうやめてそれ以上やったら僕はみんなを幻滅してしまう。何かに取りつかれたみたいによ急に何だってんだよ
Interesting words. Not she tried to laugh it off, but it's obvious she was pretty dismayed by the situation. Susan, that Susan was the same. Everyone was having so much fun just minutes ago. But a single declaration of love had destroyed it all. This sort of thing wasn't so unusual between mixed gender groups in the countryside. We were all healthy high school, but future to face this sort of thing once or twice before. Yet things had never been this serious. Tension was so thick you cut it with a knife. All of a sudden, something snapped loudly. A small object fell to Toy's feet. It was one of the arms of the doll she was holding. Oh, God. <laughs> she groaned and dug her nails into her face as it turned to endure some sort of agony. Daijoba. Is she going to say go away? Her forehead grew clammy with sweat. Her eyes glazed over and she started bl She stared out blankly into space. It was very sudden and uncanny, yet welcome at this point in time. She me ran over to Toy to help her, but she swatted him away. <laughs> the usual thing from her. Toy glared at the other girls in the room. And now she's warning them. She's not completely sure she's not wrong. <laughs> now that she fell to her knees, the doll she treasured with utmost zeal fell out of her hands. And his Hinagana came back just then. Lucina kind of picked up the doll and gave her toy and helped her to her feet. I knew it was going to very obvious it's going to say go away. The two of them vanished hardly down the hall. Everyone was left at a total loss. The silence of night and fill up the room once more. Afterwards, the girls abruptly went back to the usual cheer, and the party ended. To the boys, their change was creepy and beyond comprehension. To the girls, the boys must have seemed like immature children who didn't know how to switch off. Even after Susan and Natsu returned to the boys' room, they were still speechless at the events that just occurred. Oh, shit. A lot of the stuff that does happen, there is there is always technically a moon. Every single time there's always been a moon. The moon, it's always been at night. Huh. Could that be like some sort of clue? I don't know. きっと女子どもも今頃みんなで自己嫌を大会だろうぜ。だがよ。それも含めてグレートな青春の1ページなのさ。ありがとう。夏くん。ちょっぴりだけ心が楽になったよ。寝ちまおうぜ。何も考え